Hey you guys, how are you guys doing? It's time for another hair related video and this time I'm going to be going over all of my leave-in conditioner size sprays and it's honestly not a lot you guys. It's less than 20 products. But hear me out. When you are a content creator that's focused on natural hair and hair content, you tend to have a lot of products. I at one point I easily had like close to a hundred leave-in conditioners by itself. When we moved, uh, made the move to uh, come back to Texas, I got rid of a lot of products. I can't even remember how many I got. I literally was giving away bags and bags and big containers of products. And it was so funny. I was over one of my neighbor's um, house and I forgot I had given them a bunch of products. Child, I looked up and I was like, I, did this hussy go in my, my closet and get my products? And she saw me looking down there and she's like, thank you for the product. I said, oh, that's right. That's right, girl. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I gave you these products. But I'm gonna need like two or three of those bags. So. <laughs> but everything that I'm gonna be showing y'all is what some of it I see. I see about two that I'm not using, but 70, 80 percent of the products I have here I am using. Girl, the deets on this hair. This hair is old, very old, and um, it's an old blowout slash twist out. And I'm, I'm lazy. I'm not going to wash it. Girl, I'm serving you a, a thick-ass Karen White. I'll be a superwoman. Is that her name? Anyway, y'all, let's just get to this video. So this is not in any particular order, but I will be telling you what my favorites are as we're talking about the products, okay? So we have an oldie but goodie Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. Now, I'm going to be honest. Since they changed their formula... And we know you did can too, because you don't pair well with other products. So since they, you know, changed the formula, I typically don't use this product as much. This is the product I use where I'm like, uh, oh, it's there. Let me go ahead and use it. I also use it on JB's hair quite often, but for me, not so much. Um, we have Blue Magic's Argan Oil Mango and Lime Leaving Conditioner. Hear me out. This is so watery. This is why I have an issue with this product. It is so literally, I can literally pour it. It, it can either, it can pour out. I've used this product only once. Um, I feel like it will be great for those of you who are on the finer side with your hair. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who are 3C, 4A, this, this is for you. Um, for my tresses, it's not enough. I, yeah, I just feel like I will have to use this in conjunction with several other products to ensure that my hair is moisturized. So that's why there's so much of this left, right? Next up, we have the Aunt Jackie's Coconut Cream Buttercream Intensive Moisture Sealant. And let me tell you about her. Y'all, this is so good that I was supposed to officially review this product. There's enough, there's enough of one twist. Like, there's enough. I may use it right now, but there's enough one twist. I absolutely love this product. And one of the reasons why is that I feel like it is, that you can have multiple usages for it. It's most high usages, right? So not only can I use it as a um, leave-in conditioner, but I also use it for a twist out every now and then without adding another product. Or I may add gel, but what I'm trying to say, without adding another cream-based product, if that makes sense. Next up we have, I'm doing a little shoulder shake because I'm excited, Camille Rose Honey Hydrate, the leave-in conditioner. And there was like three um, of these products that Camille Rose had came out around the time. I absolutely love this product. I know that for some of y'all, you can feel like there's a residue. It can feel a little sticky. It can be. But if you have 4B, 4C hair, I think it can work out. Matter of fact, I think this would be my go-to for my winter regimen here in Texas because it gets a, it gets a little cold. And I'm going to be layering the products. And this is going to be very minimal I'm going to be using. Even with all my hair, I'm just going to use a little bit on this, okay? So next up, we have the main choice, Proceed with Caution, four-way conditioner, Japanese cherry and chai seed oil. Love it. You could use this as a co-wash. I haven't done that yet. A leave-in detangler, rinse out. So I have used this product as a detangler and as a leave-in. Quiet as it kept, I personally like this, prefer this as a detangler. Is it the best detangler? No, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that 
To me, it works better as a detangler than as a leave-in conditioner, if that makes sense. Okay, main choice. I love the main choice. I need to go back and order some more products from her, actually. Um, we're gonna we're all over the place. We have the Alphagy Keratin Green Teen Reconstructor. I have been using this particular spray for years, even while I was now, you know what? Actually, now <laughs> You technically are supposed to only use this after you shampoo. Not me. I, I read the instructions. I'm like, that's not other directions. That's nice. But this is great for those of you who are relaxed. I want to say I started using this product while I was relaxed. Um, but on the back here, it says after shampooing, spray liberally onto towel, towel dry hair, comb, comb hair gently with a wipe to. <laughs> so you typically are supposed to use this pr product on wet hair after you washed your hair and it works great if you have um like you've done a treatment or you've relaxed your hair or something something in that sort but i typically get this at three sally's you guys sally's beauty so yeah apogee carrington and green tea reconstructor i highly recommend this okay um, this is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. As I am long in luxe, pomegranate, and passion fruit grow yogurt. There ain't nothing in here. I don't even know why I'm holding on to this. There's nothing in here. I absolutely love it. Now, I will have to say, out of the entire collection of the pomegranate collection by As I Am, this is my favorite product, okay? All right, you guys. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of you love. So, y'all, there's sometimes there be products in the back here in my closet is right in here. So I keep my products. I'll be moving stuff around. I'm like, where you come from? And I'm upset because there's a lot left in here. Like I have a good two usages out of it. We have the direct leave-in weightless conditioner, Giovanni. I love this product. It's a very, it's a lightweight leave-in conditioner. <clears throat> I feel like you can pair it with multiple products and you don't experience a buildup. There's another thing I used to do, the Kim A Tubes leave-in conditioner. And she still has that video up, you guys. I know she started her own hair care line, um, which I really didn't hear, hear a lot about her um, her hair care line, Kim A Tubes. She used to have a recipe for a leave-in conditioner and I would use this for it. And it was a great, great, great recipe too. Lot of body, lot of body has a great, great, great line. It's the coconut and shea oils. They also have a gel, which I haven't used as a gel. There's an edge control, which I have used, and of course, there's the mousse. I love to pair the mousse and the this particular curl and style together. I find that this particular leave in conditioner pairs well with other products too, which makes you kind of wonder if I'm not, I'm not gonna say what I want to say. But I am. I think possibly that <laughs> they have some similarities with some other products that so we ain't gonna name no names. Next up, we have the Onion Hair Made Handmaids Conditioning Care Hairdo. Love, love, love. Now I'm cheap, so I don't get, I don't get this product too much. Um, you know how, so I don't get this product too much. But I absolutely do. Love this product. It's one of my favorites. It's up there in the top five. And I'm gonna show I'm gonna tell y'all my top five out of this. I'm gonna try when I'm done. Next up, we have the curls cream brulee whipped cream butter. I like this product, it's a little heavier, um, which I do I don't mind. See, I gotta shake it a couple of times to get it down, which I like that. Um, another product that pairs very well with other products. We have TGIN's Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. Y'all, I'm getting all emotional. <sighs> the owner, Christia, passed away. Um, it's 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 been a, I think it's been a little over a year, y'all. I need to get it together. Um, <clears throat> I knew her, and so we would chat often. Not often, but enough. And this is why when, when it's on your heart to talk to someone and contact someone, please do it. Because it literally had been on my heart for months to just check in with her to see how she's doing. And I, I delayed it. And she passed away. So TGIN's Buttercream Daily Moisturizer with Shea Butter, Vitamin E. I love this product as a I'm leaving. Now, it can be a little sticky. Look, look, you can see some hair is attached to it. It can be a little sticky. 
but I like it and I like that a little bit goes a long ways, okay? We have the Lemongrass Allocate Naturals Leave-In Conditioner. Now, this is another product that I like to use on JB's hair because he, he gets a little fussy if I put a, too many products on his hair, but I can spray this on his hair, use the sponge with the holes, and good. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some more from her. And matter of fact, while I'm buying this, I'm gonna go ahead and get her deep conditioner too, right? All right, next up we have, girl, <laughs> This is another product by Cantu. It is from their men's line, men's collection, excuse me. Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Intense Moisture with Hemp Seed Oil and Caffeine. So they want your husband walking around caffeinated, getting on your dang on nerves. So <laughs> this product, and by the way, you guys, nearly everything I'm showing you, I have an official review on. I will take my time and link every video I have a review on in the description box. So check it out. Y'all, this product, I said I would use it for JB, but I, I forgot all about it because it's one of those that was snuck, it was sneaking around in the back. Um, I'm not using this product anymore. It has a very manly scent. So like I said in my review, JB can walk around smelling like he's 55 years old and he listens to Kenny Rogers all day. Yeah, JB, here you go. You know, get you your little whiskey and you <laughs> I rebuke I rebuke that. But yeah, no, this is this is look, if you are a man out there and you watch my videos, check out this product. It'll be great for your beard, maybe great for your hair. But for females, I think it's a little too heavy. Just the scent alone is too heavy. And that's, that's a real turn on for me. Okay, so y'all, the last product I have is the Moisture Miracle African Pride Coconut Oil and Bayo Bath Oil Hydrate and Strengthen Leave-In Conditioner. I absolutely love the African Pride line. I love this collection that they came out with a couple of years ago. This is a great leave-in conditioner that not only... Um, Leaves your hair feeling moisturized. You can pair it with other products, but it has, let me show y'all what this looks like. I'm gonna put it a little bit. It has the consistency of Cantu, if Cantu was a little thicker. If Cantu ate some um, red beans and rice. So that, girl. So this is what the product looks like. Look at that. You see what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that into my hair and my hands. Now, you guys, you see what happens since I've been on cam, because I used that spray, my hair has gotten bigger. So, one of my favorites, this is going to be hard, but it ain't. This is why I need to get more products. One, two, three. All right, five. My five favorite products out of this entire collection would have to be the Apogee Keratin Green Tea Spray, the Onion Hairdo. The As I Am Long and Lux Promigrant Grow Yogurt, the African Prize Leave In, and the Giovanni Leave In. So, yes, you guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, check out the description box. Personally, um, I feel like I need to, well, first off, I'm definitely going to refill my favorites. Still haven't made it to a Sally's. But my Walmart, baby, my Walmart has an entire half an hour on um, hair products for black women. So I'm definitely gonna be checking that. So that's it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care, bye.